Hi, my super sweet crafty friends. Welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations and Made. Today, I want to share with you this super adorable binder mini album embellishment book. And I made this using the carousel uh, paper line from Maggie Holmes. So I'm going to share with you the things I made here, but I also wanted to ask you if you're new to my channel, if it's your first time here, make sure that you subscribe, click the subscribe button down below and also the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. And uh, I am so happy to be back sharing with you guys. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I am happy to report that my mojo is back. <laughs> so I should be sharing some new projects with you soon. I'm going to have uh, several projects for uh, Christmas in July. I made this little binder and I actually use a chipboard binder. I painted it and my goodness, I just love, love, love this paint. Look at how gorgeous this paint is. And this paint is actually treasure gold and is the rose gold on rose. And this is from Folk Art. I am a brand ambassador for Plaid. And if you haven't uh, heard about Plaid, if the name doesn't ring a bell, I'm sure my Pudge will. <laughs> Who hasn't used my Pudge under crafts? And I just love their products. I was so happy when they reached out to me several months ago and asked me if I wanted to become a brand ambassador. And here is uh, this paint they sent me. They actually sent me um, three or four different colors, but I used this. For my project here and I have to tell you guys you have to try this not because I'm uh, promoting the brand but because I honestly love 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 it it's so easy to work with so smooth the finish is amazing it dries super quick I love 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 that paint and you can use it on so many different mediums it's amazing this one is one of the projects I told you about before that I'm going to be putting up for sale on my Instagram page. So this is so, so, so adorable. I was so happy with how this turned out and it has so much detail. <laughs> it took so much work, but honestly, I just love, love, love it. So I made this cover using several dies. I, I use a die from C6. I actually cut this um, crown here. I just kind of like doodle it and cut it. I also um, added some embellishments to this one. I wanted to make it sort of match the carousel line more. And if you see the carousel um, swan, it has different colors and it has also this sort of um, frame here. To decorate it so i kind of like created it this i just got little strips of glitter paper it's not exactly the same but it's very similar and i just love how it turned out and i added this little flower here it's just one of those resin flowers i got uh on amazon and i made this wings using a die from quick cuts it's an older die but i just love how it would give this so much more dimension and kind of make it look more like those carousel swans that you find at the circus and i use here this straw this is actually a straw from dollar tree and um when i was gluing this little uh, pearls here at the bottom on top to make it sort of like look like the bar on the carousel uh swans I use a uh, beacon glue and as you know beacon glue is acetone based and I didn't think about it so it kind of like oxidized the um, pole but I just love how it turned out because it's sort of like a, an oxidation that you could find at a real metal pole so <laughs> I think it turned out great it was a very very nice accident and I made some flowers here I used some uh, actually I used a Marvi Oshida punch that I got um, years ago and uh, I added some little um, gems here those are rose gold and um as you see here and as you'll see inside my book I actually mix golds I like mixing golds and silvers I made this flower and I made this one using a die from uh, crafters companion and I if you see I use here's diamond dust and it's just so beautiful it just makes so much of a difference it gives it the perfect finish so I painted my uh, binder and this is a chipboard binder. I just love it because it's super sturdy, super nice finish. Look at this paint. 
look at this finish. It's just so gorgeous. So, so amazing. I honestly, honestly love that paint. I made this charm here and I used some beads from, I believe it was Michael's um, and some that I got online. I added some beads to match the colors of the cursor line. I added this little star that I got online. I think it was uh, an Amazon. And then I made this little tassel here and I just love this um, embroidery thread. This comes from France. I believe it's D DMC or something. I don't remember exactly the name of it, but it's a very nice brand from France and I just love the quality of this embroidery thread. So, so nice to work with. So the way I made it is that since this is a binder, it's hard for me to poke a hole here because it's chipboard. I could have done it, but I, I honestly wanted to have it like this. So it was long enough that you could use it on the side. And I didn't want to cover the side because I love this paint. So I just wanted to leave it, um, black like that so it would show the paint you would not believe the shine of this paint once different lights heats it it's just gorgeous and I also wanted to um, make it so you can move it around and you can actually place it at the front like that I just love how it looks that way <laughs> so I decided to do it that way and um, I made this cover into a shaker you can see here is a tool shaker I use tool from Hobby Lobby it's the tool that you can find at the wedding section it has glitter on it it's a gold tool and I actually sew around it with my sewing machine it's amazing guys <laughs> I've been trying to use my sewing machine I love this because the finish of the stitches is uneven you have different stitches here different stitches here and I think it gives it so much more interest and I just love 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 how it turned out I added a bunch of sequins here that I got and I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby, it was like 47 cents per pouch of sequins. I used some of the paper from the carousel and um, I uh, sewed my tool on it to create my shaker. And then I added a frame here with pom-pom trim. I also cut two pieces of the different paper from the collection and I ripped some of it. And then I glued the two of them, one on top of each other. And then I sew around it on this zigzag uh, stitch in here. And I think it turned out so, so gorgeous. I just love, love, love this. Over here, I used this sticker. This is from one of Maggie Holmes stickers. And it says, every day brings a new story. And I backed it up with a uh, cardstock so it's sturdier. I made some embellishments here using some dies again from Quick Cuts. These are older dies, but they're amazing. And um, I um, die cut here a doily using a die that I have and some paper that I found at Hobby Lobby. I added also um, this circle here, kind of like a peeking circle. Uh, from the pa uh, paper line and I just love it love the color love kind of like uh, the different accents and I also saw on it as you see there I saw around the circle and I you can see the stitching in there I really love how this cover turned out it's kind of like really busy but it works out I backed also this paper um, on, the, on a frame of glitter card stock. And then I love this gold and then I also love the rose gold border from the paint. I think this is just gorgeous and I hope you guys like it too. Let me show it to you a little closer. Look at that swan. And again, I love that you can use this charm over here on top of it or you can actually use it on the side. On the back is actually missing one of the letters. Um, you can see, oh my gosh, look at this paint. <gasps> Goodness, it's so amazing. And it's so easy and so smooth to work with. So over here, I kind of like backed the paper from the paper line uh, using some uh, pink paper cardstock. And then I stitched all around. I saw, I didn't stitch it. <laughs> I sew around it with my sewing machine. And I think it looks so, so super nice. I made a banner here using some dies from my favorite things. And I used some stickers that I got. I think I got this uh, uh, probably 11 years ago. So it spells happy, but the little Y here, I'm not sure what happened with it. So I had to look it up. And I made here this little braided um, cord here 
to hold the banners just to give it more interest and make it a better finish and I kind of like did the tassels over here at the end sort of like to give it a nice finish too I so all around the little banners <laughs> oh my goodness that was quite something <laughs> i'm not good at sewing i don't really sew i'm just starting at it but i am loving the effect so i'm really planning on using a lot more sewing on my projects next so i added here some little um dots i think they match perfect with the little horse here for the carousel i love the accent of the uh thread the gold thread it only has two pages but it has a lot of space for pictures and um, you can actually add pages to it once you take the embellishments out of it so you can see here look at the inside of it look at the paint wow it's just amazing I really really love this paint and uh, this is the side of the cover of the binder and you can see here I made an embellishment um, using a cuddle bog die and uh, I backed it up with the paper and I added also some of that diamond dust around it. So if you see it in person, it's so glittery, it's crazy. <laughs> so I backed it here with this little seal and I used um, glitter paper, glitter cardstock. I used blue, so kind of like to match the colors in the collection. I added these pearls here to give the body of the uh, butterfly. These are kind of like the holographic ones that are very popular right now. So I made this page into a shaker again, but this one is a different kind and I'm going to show you here. It has tool on the top area and I sew around it to create my shaker. And then at the bottom, the shaker is actually an acetate pocket. So as you see there, it's acetate in here, it's an acetate um, pocket. And uh, I just love how it turned out. I um, folded acetate, created a pocket, so around it, and added the sequence. And I just love how it turned out. I love the interest that it gives when you have two different kinds of material here to create a shaker. So you have the tool and you have this. And this embellishment I made using dies also. Look at this, super, super, super adorable Ferris wheel. And I actually made this little cupcake using silicone and a mold from Frank Garcia Studio. I think it's a Dolls Check collection, if I'm not wrong. And I painted this using this paints from Platt, from Folk Art. And look at this. Look at how awesome it looks. So you can use it for your silicone mold uh, um, shapes that you create. And uh, I added here some um, crepe paper, crepe rosette on the back. It kind of like got flattened once I glued it, but I added also here kind of like a scallop circle. And this one is a holographic cardstock, so it looks super, super nice. And um, I made this before. I made this one, and I thought it worked perfect for this page. So I put it here, and this can be used. All of them are placed in here with removable dots. So you can just remove them and use them on your project. And then you have the pockets here that you can uh, store things on. And I think this turned out so stinking cute. Look at how beautiful. I love all the shimmer and everything else. And you can see here how I place my little charm in here. I actually just uh, tie a knot in here so I could adjust the cord. And um, I plan to make a little charm here that goes to this side. So on the inside it would have sort of like a charm too and on the outside it will have the bigger one. And then you can see here, this is my first page. On this page, I created some little rosettes using a die from Tim Holtz. And this is like a snowflake die, but um, I just like the shape. And I think these are perfect to decorate bigger embellishments. And I backed them on, uh, I placed them on acetate, an acetate sheet that I could place here on this photo corners so I can store them. And once you remove this, you can actually place your picture using the photo corners. And then you can actually also place them so it goes under this embellishment here and it would uh, hold it in place. I use some uh, tags here, tickets from the paper 
um, collection from Maggie Holmes from the carousel. I actually uh, fussy cut all the little shapes and I backed them with gold uh, cardstock also and I just added two different ones to give it more accent and I think it turned out adorable. I also die cut a piece here, this frame, using an older die that I got from Spellbinders and uh, using this paper I backed also some gold uh, accents on the back and I added here some sequins kind of like to decorate and give it a nicer effect. Um, I just like using some different papers that match also the collections that way my paper uh, lasts longer so I can stretch it. And over here I made this embellishment using a die, this little ice cream cone and I backed it here with a little uh, rosette I made from vellum and I made also a crepe paper rosette that I glitter around. I think it matched great for this page and i think when you open it like this it just looks so so adorable i love 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 it love the colors for it and then i'm going to show you here so this i try to give as much space for pictures i'm sorry as i can because as you'll see uh, it only has two pages but again once you remove the embellishments you can actually create more pages for it and then what I did is this one is actually a pocket here and this is a big pocket it's the size of all this area here so you can store several things here I'm going to create create a booklet that is going to go with this so whoever buys it is going to get also a booklet that is going to have space for pictures uh, and uh, four different areas so you'll have a lot more space here for pictures and uh, guys you have to let me know down below how do you like it and how do you like this paint it's amazing so this is how it looks on this side and wow this is one of my favorite pages these are actually I love this one <laughs> love 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 this look at this this I made using the silicone mold from Frank Garcia and I use actually uh, silicon hot silicon to make it and I painted it using um, this paint again from folk art from plaid wow it's gorgeous it's just gorgeous I created here this little shaker I made this frame kind of like inspired also by the Maggie Holmes uh, embellishments those frames that she has uh, with pom pom trim around it I made this little ball here using some velvet uh, ribbon from Hobby Lobby and uh, I also use also this um, jam little strings here that I got online, a rose gold. And I use here the border from the uh, ribbon to tie around here at the front to make it um, even more beautiful. And I think it turned out so, so gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? And look at this. Look at the horse. Amazing. And I made this label here using some stickers from Maggie Holmes. I uh, spelled the word circus. I added some gems here and I added here this um, gold um, cardstock. This one is foil actually. And this is from Hobby Lobby. And I used another die from Quick Cuts to make this too. And I think this is gorgeous. I actually uh, place here this paper is not from Maggie Home, so it matches perfectly. And then I added um, paper from the Maggie Home Holmes carousel paper line. I uh, stitched around here to keep it together. And this you cannot place pictures in <laughs> here at the front of this page, as you can see. But again, I've been trying to think about ways to give you guys more places for pictures. So this. You can actually place a big tab in here. And you can go all the way in. I just don't want to push it all the way in because it's going to be more difficult for me to remove it. What you can do here, which is what I'm thinking I'm planning to do, is I'm going to make spots here for pictures and pictures here. And look at this one. Look at this page. Oh, wow. I love, love, love how this turned out too. I use here some paper from the Maggie Holmes paper collection and this little poker card I actually made it. I stamped the little zebra and then I um, die cut just little shamrocks I think <laughs> and I placed them in there to simulate the 
poker cards and then I backed it up on a frame of glitter card stock and I added some sequins and this mile here is from the sticker sheet from one of the Mickey Home sticker sheets. I backed it up with gold and look at how beautiful it looks! Isn't it so stinking adorable? And this is glitter card stock also. And I added some dots and I added these sequin stars here. I added this strip here uh, of pink that matches this page here, kind of like to um, make it more cohesive because it's different colors and all. And then I added this border here on the back, a uh, glitter border. And you'll see here this page is actually a pocket. And I sew all around everywhere. <laughs> and as you can see here is a pocket. And I divided it in two. I stitched in the middle. So it would be two pockets. And look at this. I did so beautiful. This little uh, things over here. They're actually tags. And I'm going to share with you how they work. You can take them off. And I made this using a holographic paper. And I made this using a die from... Uh, Cuddlebug actually is a Disney die from Cuddlebug. Uh, I think it's super super adorable and what I love also here is that you can cut a picture and place it on the inside of the frame here that is embossed. I love this die because it cuts and, and embosses and it's such a nice size that you can place pictures here super nicely. I added here this bow that I made using paper from the paper line and also some of that foil paper. Uh, this is actually poster board from Hobby Lobby. And then this I love because it's the same on both sides. So you can place a picture here and you can place a picture here too. And then I made this into a pocket. I love this. I really am thinking about a lot of ways to give you guys places to post pictures. And, and you can add, add more pages to it once you remove the embellishments that I just placed there. So you can decorate some other of your projects. So I made two in here because I divided this in two. And I made this one also it's the same. I just did the positive and negative here. I used the paper for the bottom and a foil for the top. I think this turned out so adorable. This bucket is the size of this area here. Guys, let me know down below how you like it and let me know what's your favorite part of it. I love this bead. I think it's just gorgeous. So this actually opens like that. And look at this. Oh, isn't this so, so super stinking adorable? Look at that. I love this. So on this side, I just uh, left this page blank. Um, I decorated this using this little doily that I made using a die that I have and some foil paper from Dollar Tree. And I cut here with a punch, a Tim Holtz, no, it's a Martha store punch, this little circle here, the little zebra from the paper line. And I backed it up on blue glitter card stock. I made these little banners here using paper from the collection. And I uh, added here this sticker. It says, love this day. And this sticker is also from the Maggie Holmes paper collection. So all around my pages, as you can see there. And this is so nice. I added those little envelopes here. And this too, oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> These two envelopes are embellishments, again, that I'm adding there so you can use to decorate your project. So these are stuck in there with uh, removable adhesive. So once you remove it, you can place pictures on this page. And what you could do also, or you could just remove one and then you could add double-sided adhesive only to the bottom of it. You can use it to place like pictures, mementos and all that. So I think it's super, super nice. I love how the envelopes and everything has such a circus vibe. Circus decoration is over the top. It's really like uh, glittery and strong in your face because they want to kind of like create an impact. And I wanted to do the same over here. On this page, I love how it turned out. It's a larger page and I added this tag here photo tag and this one is uh, made using a die from Stemper's Journey I believe. I got at the Spellbinders website and I just love this. I sew around it and I decorated using this um, camera little shaker here that I made and I added some paper from the paper line here to decorate it. I made the shaker here using tool and I backed it up with some more paper from the collection 
I added here this little sticker. It is from the sticker book from Maggie Holmes, one of the sticker books. I used some more paper from the collection to create banners here, the little flags. And um, to back this, I added a border here using glitter paper that I punched out with a Martha Stewart punch. And I added this little tickets here, and this I made using a stamp from Crete Paper also, I believe, is from Dear Lizzie. Um, and I used the paper from the collection to make them. I cut them, and I just love making my own embellishments too, not just using like ephemera only. I love feeling like I'm creating. So I made this um, balloon cluster here. I think it turned out so cute. Love the gold cord here. I added these little bows all over. I used glitter paper here and then paper from that collection. And I uh, placed them at different dimensions so I have more interest. And then I used also this... Um, kites and these are from the paper collection too and what I did is I backed it up with gold and I placed it in there to decorate and I placed it also on this side and I placed it so it was glued on the page and glued to the tag here. I added here this little ticket that I got from the paper line also I fussy cut and I um, stapled this here with a mini attacher from Tim Holtz and I love this because you can use it to store your pictures in here like that of course it won't be this big but not only that I'm going to share with you since again I'm trying to give you guys as much space for pictures this is what I did here I created this hold on I have to do this <laughs> easier like this because yeah so you can see that you can back a tag or pictures there on the back too to store it and I just love how this comes in here that is glued to the page and also comes to the top but it's a stopper for the tag I just super super love how this page turned out and I hope you guys like it too and please let me know down below how you like it and which page is your favorite I also have to share with you, I'm going to be doing my 20,000 subscribers giveaway as soon as I get to 20,000. I'm going to be giving away a Cricut Joy machine. So make sure that if you're not subscribed, you subscribe to my channel. Again, I made also another bigger pocket here. So this page has a double pocket. One for this page, one for the other side. So you can place here something super big because it's the same space area as you have here. To hold pictures, you can make another booklet for pictures here and a lot. And oh, I really, really love how this turned out. I cannot tell you guys, it took me forever to make because it's hard for me to find insp uh, inspiration, but the end result is uh, I love it, it's gorgeous. So, look at how beautiful this page is. So, you turn this page around and you have here some more embellishments that I created. And again, these embellishments are kind of like in your face, exaggerated, because it's the way that you can see them at the circus, all the decorations and all that, because they want to pop and make an impression. So I used some more paper here from the collection to create this pocket area here. I sew around it. I created a frame kind of like inspired by the Mickey Holmes frames from uh, their embellishment packs. I made this little cotton candy here, and uh, I added some more of that... Um, diamond dust to give it some uh, little shimmer. I added here this little thing. I have been seeing in Pinterest a lot of this little flag um, embellishments made. And over here I added this um, to put a little charm on it. I haven't found exactly the charm I want, so I haven't put it in there yet. But this is a frame that you can use for pictures. So this one is actually not going to fit here, but you can see how you get place your picture on the back and it's actually kind of like the size of this area here. I also made this little uh, hat here and it's like a princess hat. This are, you can see those a lot at theme parks or circus. Little girls use them, wear them a lot. And uh, I actually use a die here that is not a hot die, but it's actually a tree, <laughs> a little Christmas tree. But I think it was super amazing because I could make it into a party hat. So over here, I created this embellishment. It's kind of like a frame and I can 
place here a sticker with any phrase that matches whatever picture I want to put in there. Again, this is for sale, so it's not going to be for me, but whoever buys it, then they can personalize it. For uh, whatever picture they plan to put in here, they can add here a little sticker. And I use a sticker also here from Making Homes paper collection that I backed on uh, Ivory Card stock. I made some more uh, frames here using dies from uh, quid cuts and I added two gems here blue gems kind of like to give it the same um, cohesive here uh, cohesiveness and this paper is also from the carousel paper line as well as this I created a pocket here and then I sew around all around it and I added here a border using some of that holographic cardstock that I've been using around. But you can see here, this is a really big pocket. You can add here a booklet for pictures too. So you have more space here for pictures. So even though it's only two pages, it gives you plenty of space for pictures. And once you remove the embellishments, the extra embellishments that I'm sending here, you can actually add more pages to it because it wouldn't be that bulky. So you can see here, these are my last embellishments for this embellishment book. And I created those frames here. This is not a carousel. Uh, this is one of the stamp sets from Maggie Holmes. I made this little ball using faux leather and I added here this little trim from the uh, velvet bowl here. I added here some of that bling uh, mesh in there and I made this little flag there and I uh, stamp also this and this is from the same stamp set that has this all things grow with love. I added some glitter sticker accents for it. I backed this with foil and I backed the other one with glitter uh, cardstock. This would be perfect to decorate any page that matches the papers from the collection. Over here I made this little embellishment and this reminds me of the little cages where they put the animals at the circus. Um, so I made these frames using again a die from Quick Cuts and I used, uh, punched this little swan from the paper line. I backed it on uh, full cardstock here. I created some more frames. So this is very layered and it has jimmies and all. And then you can put here a um, little tassel if you want. I added here an eyelet so you can do something with that. Over here, I created this embellishment and this is something that you can use kind of like to make a cover or something. Again, these are embellishments that are placed in there with uh, removable adhesive, so you can remove them and use them on your project. I created here another um, shake your pocket using acetate. This one only has acetate and is a um, bigger po uh, pocket. So when you remove this, you have the paper here with a um, uh, Ferris wheel and all the circus theme area, the park, and I just love, love, love it. And I love also the sequins here that I got from um, Hobby Lobby on clearance because they match perfectly. So these are great. This one I used, uh, I made using a die from Alton New, and I added this flag here that I made uh, using paper from the paper line. I added this sticker here from one of the Maggie Holmes sticker sheets. I don't remember what line. I added more flags here that I made and then I sew around them. I mean, in, in the middle. And this is layer two. I have another frame here. I love these frames because they really match the circus theme a lot. So, this is actually <laughs> my mini album embellishment book. And I hope you guys like it. I hope that you got inspiration. I really, really, really love how this turned out. And I hope you guys are doing well. Again, um, I'm going to be sharing next a project. I'm going to share with you how to make a super, super easy traveler's notebook. Christmas related so it's going to be a Christmas and July project in July and um, it's going to be perfect to gift away or if you're still doing things for crafters it's going to be something that's going to be super easy to make for crafters and other things. Thank you so much for joining me guys as well. I cannot believe how long this video is. I guess I miss you guys but I wanted to share with you the whole book and all the details. I hope you guys like it. Let me know down below uh, how'd you like it, which page is your favorite or which embellishment is your favorite. Um, and uh, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to be having a little collab. I want to help some of my friends who have smaller sh channels. They started small, smaller channels and they've been actually subscribers to my channel who have always been so supportive and amazing to me. So I'm going to have a few of them 
collaborating with me on a Christmas in July collaboration that I'll share more, more details about soon with you. So you guys don't want to miss that. We're going to have several giveaways as usual and very uh, beautiful inspiration that I'm sure my friends are going to create. And um, I can wait for you guys to see it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for all your messages, your love. You guys are amazing. I miss you so, so much. I'm so happy to be back. And I hope to see you back here soon for another video. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Mwah.